Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 2. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we hunt ourselves some um, some slavers and free ourselves as well a few soon-to-be ex-slaves. There's a slaver back here that I'm gonna promptly shoot in the face. Uh, you, he's got a slaver tattoo on his forehead, so he must be a slaver. Let's shoot him. So he is blind now, so that's good. He's not gonna be able to repost to my attack. Well, certainly not now. And again, five karma. Unfortunately, I can't end the combat right now because I think now there it is. It was just the game doing his own thing, as usual, as usual. But uh, okay, so let's check out the rest of this little building because there might be loot for me to pick up. And I'm kind of into. Ooh, this place is full of containers. We got a fridge, which which has both booze and food. That's totally, totally fine with me, although I'm not gonna take any. I'm gonna take some steam packs, because those are very, very important. And I kinda need some, if I'm honest. I'll take this, because Lenny's using a 10mm uh, SMG, and might as well get him some of that nice ammo. And, uh, what's that, 10mm, 9mm, 14mm? Armor-piercing bullets, man, those are really... I don't even know. Man, that thing must be heavy as hell. Can you imagine a 14mm bullet? That's like caliber 55 or something like that. Um, yeah, because, you know, caliber 1 would be a 25mm, 24.5mm, more like. But, yeah. So... I need to free these guys. What, what, what do I need to do? Let's go to the Hout House first. Because um, there might be something in there for us. And uh, there's not anything here for us. What's that? Street light? Oh, yeah, it's the street light. It's the shadow of the street light. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, so this is probably gonna open. Yeah, terminal. It's probably gonna open the cages. Okay, so that that's that. Let's open them all. And here they go. Oh, there they go. More like. Okay. See you later, guys. Have fun. Whatever you're gonna do now. Everyone's free? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we freed all the slaves. So, that was easy. That was actually pretty easy. Don't know why I didn't do this before. But I guess I wanted to, um... I wanted to see what kind of quest I I'd be able to get myself into. So... Yeah, my friends are all in there. I am gonna need them to come here because, uh... Because I need to tell them not to have any weapons equipped. Otherwise, we're gonna get ourselves into a bit of trouble with uh, the New California Republic Police. So, Lenny? Please, uh, put your weapon away. Thank you. Myron? So, yeah, uh, this weapon? Yeah, that weapon. Oh, wait. And, uh, yeah, of course... Marcus and the uh, robot are both lagging behind, as usual, because they... What do you want? Yeah, not a problem. Thank you. And you as well. What is it? New commands? Yeah. Uh, so, put your weapon away. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, I much prefer Skynet when, they, when it has the cybernetic brain, but, well... We, unfortunately, weren't skilled, and are still not skilled enough in science um, to be able to get that brain, and we're not gonna, never gonna be able to get it because the robot exploded in a, into a million pieces. So, who gave me the quest? Don't remember exactly who gave me the quest. I think it might have been... Oh, it was this girl, I think. Or somewhere in here, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let, let me just save the game before I screw things up. Can't chat now. It's not this girl. Who, who was it? What? Hmm. Let me look at my thing. New California Republic. Uh, kill the biologists for Merc. Uh, we'll see about that. Free the slaves in the slave pen for the Rangers. Oh, so it's for the Rangers. Where are the Rangers, though? Are they down here? Oh, yeah, they are. They are. I, I remember now. I remember. Here they are. And it's this girl. Hi. I've heard the news already. You free the slaves. Good work. So, you ready to become a ranger? Sure. 
Or do you swear to fight slavery whenever the opportunity arises and to help your fellow rangers whenever they are in need? Yes. Congratulations! Wait, burn again a bunch of experience. You're n you're now a ranger. It is your sworn duty to fight slavery wherever it may appear. Take care, my friend. Thank you. And that is that. Again, ten caramel, which somehow ooh, I got a slate or a ranger pin. This pin says you're an official New California Ranger. Look, it's got a code wheel and everything. It it has a code wheel. What the hell is a code wheel? Huh. Okay. Greetings, fellow stranger. Thank you. And you? I need to hunt some more slavers. Yeah, you, you do. You and your huge weapon. Uh, and uh, well, I guess that is that for um for this area. Well, it is, isn't it? It is. So, what shall we do now? Well, still need to retrieve parts and or gain access to Vault 15. I could go there right now. Or I could try and get into this place without anybody noticing me, which I think is what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's try and wait for the night, because I think that's when that thing is... Uh, let's wait for the evening. That thing is disabled or something. So... Yeah. Mm, not sure. Not really sure. Should I wait for midnight or something? So, let's wait for, not 10 minutes, uh, 3 hours, there it is, yeah, I'm not really sure how I gain access to there, but I, eh, let's do that quest for Tandy, because maybe it's gonna be Tandy who's gonna allow me in there somehow, later, don't really know, don't really know, oh, can I leave? I can leave, I cannot enter though, that's not a problem, that's not a thing that I worry about. Cats? What? Anyone have a cat? What the hell is he? Yeah, oh, I watch cars. Yeah, cars, cars. Yeah, yeah. So he's crazy. He's totally crazy. Um, I'm gonna carry this. I am gonna leave this here. I am not gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave this here, though. Got a few quest eyes. Oh, yeah, we still haven't checked that one out. We have this. I'm gonna give a bunch of this to... Um, just leave all of this in there, a few of this in there, and I think I'm gonna leave a few of these as well, and uh, that is gonna be that. I'm gonna give this to Skynet whenever I find- there you are, Skynet, come over here. Come over here, I need you to um, carry some things for me. This, uh, this as well, this, this. And I guess that's that. Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. So, um... Yeah, let's leave for Vault 15, I guess. We're not gonna visit Weston right now. We're gonna leave for Vault 15. I'm gonna equip my weapon, just in case terrible things happen. And uh, let's check it out. Oh, by the way... By the way... I forgot about something. I forgot about something. Remember how we met a guy over here that told us that he'd fix our car up? Well, I think he's this guy. Yep, wretch. Probably picking at some lice. Ugh. You stay away. No, it's not this guy. Who, who exactly was it that I talked with? What? Who the hell's that guy? Yeah, that was a guy that t told me he'd, he'd fix up my car and kind of tune it a little bit, make it a little bit faster. Was it this guy? Oh, there she is. Cloud is all installed. Okay, so apparently that is that. Is the car going to be topped up? Topped up? Topped up in terms of uh, fuel? I don't know. We still, we are still running on the um, original charge. Yeah, it's not. But anyway, so... Oh, that's not what I'm gonna go. I wanna... Ooh. Once again, my spirit touches you from the void. Chosen, our crops fail, our reserves are meager. Return to us with the gag. Your failure is our last light. Don't worry, Akinin. I am nearing Vault, Vault 13. 
with every passing day, I'm gonna get, get there soon enough. Don't you guys worry. Um, so these are the squatters. Sorry, stranger. I don't have time to chat with you. Wait a minute. Why won't you talk to me? We're a very private community here. We don't want any trouble or interference from outside sources. Please just leave us be. Huh. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not sure I'm gonna respect your wishes, which is a bit rude of me. But uh, it is what it is. You guys are gonna need to uh, deal with that, because I am uh, checking your outhouses uh, to see if I find any uh, thing that goes against the regulations. Because I am the um, inspector. Yeah, that's that's Fay the inspector, I guess. So you guys have. Nothing in here. We have a dresser, a pretty broken up dresser with nothing inside. Figures. Figures! Okay, so there's a girl, an older woman. Older than who? Older than whom, I guess. Hi, I'm Rebecca. Can we talk privately, please? Sure. Why can I? Why can't we go for privacy? Oh, well, thanks. We can go to my tent. Okay. Teleportation. There he goes. We should be able to talk here. Well, I have some questions for you first. What do you want to know? Okay, so... Um... What's going on around here? Uh, we call this place the Squat because uh, it was settled by the homeless of many cities. It's not much, but it's all we have. To the west is a city called the NCR. Uh, they've known about us for quite some time and never offered any kind of help or hindrance. Uh, now they are suddenly claiming these areas their ancestral home and they want it back. They keep sending people here to try and talk to us out of our home. But they don't understand that we have nowhere else to go. We don't have the skills necessary to survive on our own if we leave here. Well, uh... Well, I see, I understand that. So what do you want to know? Who's in charge around here? Uh, that would be Zeke. Zeke? Yeah. It runs everything. He runs everything up here. You can find him in the building over there. He points to the northeast. So it's probably this building. Thank you. Uh, I'm looking for a Vault 13. Do you know anything about it? Oh, I'm sorry, I have no idea. I would ask about it on in, in uh, NCR. They've taken a great interest in Vaults lately. Alright, thanks Rebecca. Let's talk about uh, your problem now. Okay, I have a daughter named Chrissy, who's a bit of a tomboy. She likes to run around, explore, and pretty much stick her nose into things. Chrissy is a good kid, though. She doesn't cause trouble. She's always home on time, and she's shown herself to be a very responsible young lady. I let her do as she pleases most of the time. Last week, Chrissy didn't come home. I've asked around and nobody's seen her or or heard from her. I tried to find her myself, but Zeke, his sort of a mayor here, stopped me. He said it wasn't safe for me to go out looking for uh, looking on my own. He'd have some of his men do it. They couldn't find her either, and uh, said maybe the slavers got her. I can't easily explain why, but I don't believe the slavers took her. I have an uneasy feeling that something else is going on. And then there's this feeling that I'm being followed. I've had it ever since I, I talked to Zeki about Chrissy. I need some someone to help me find my daughter. Will you help me, please? So, uh, alright, Rebecca, I'll try and help you. Thank you so much. I'll never be able to repay you for this. I'll wait here until you bring... Hey, there was someone outside listening to us. I saw their shadow on the tent wall. They just ran off that way. Points to the northeast. They must have heard everything. Okay, I'll try and stop them. So let's run after them. Apparently somebody was eavesdropping. Was it you? No, no, I'm sorry. I have nothing to say to you. Please go away. So, hi? Hi, I I'm Dahlia. Can oh, what can I help, what can I, um, help you with? So, did you see somebody go by here in a hurry? Well, I see people go by here every day. I don't really pay much attention to them. Well, I said right now, not every day, you dumbass. Yeah. Look, a young girl's life is at stake here, the daughter of a worried mother. Can you help me out, please? Well, I don't give a rat's, uh, rat, rat's hats. I'm sorry, I just, I, I'm just a gun who was hired to stand here and guard a trail. Other than that, I don't know what's going on around here. I had a daughter once, though, and, uh, yeah. Some guy went by here. I let him through because he knew the proper sign. Just like the sign you gave me. Go on. I'm out of here. Out of here? Well, teleportation for the win, apparently. Oh, yeah, no, it's not teleportation. She teleported away from hers. Yeah, okay. So, that was totally fine. Apparently, what did I... What sign did I give her, though? Hmm. Anyway, let's run after whoever ran past this place. Where are we? 
the Vault 15 East Entrance. So this is... What? This is not the entrance to Vault 13. The uh, 15. Unless things have changed in the last 80 years, but yeah. I should, I, I should shoot you there, but I'm kind of curious of what uh, you could possibly have to say to me. Well, I am uh, looking for a missing girl, seen her? What, you mean the one locked up in the back with, that we've been ha having fun with? Nah, I haven't seen her. Oh, so that's how it is. The one sick puppy. Well, I think I'll put you to sleep now. Yep, that's how fate deals with this stuff. That's how fate deals with this stuff, with a shot to the groin, just so you learn, you goddamn freaking jerk. And uh, there's probably gonna pe be people inside. Yeah, and my friends are all over there, although... Yeah, see? Critically hit, blowing through the armor. I'm not gonna bother with your groin anymore, I'm gonna bother with your face! Shit, not the eyes, oh, not the eyes! Oh, interesting. Well, I'm gonna try and retreat a little bit, because that thing is a shotgun. And I don't know what kind of shotgun there is, but apparently not as good a kind as my H and K cause. And there goes their uh, his, sh her eyes. So that is that. I uh, gained a little bit of experience. We got a key. We got some money and a steam pack, which I will promptly take because I kind of need some healing right now. Just make sure I don't die spontaneously out of a bullet to my face. Oh, she had a. She had a sniper rifle. Well, I'll take it because it's pretty expensive. I have one though, I don't need it at all. I just don't need it. But uh, still, I am gonna take it. So, is there anybody in here? Well, what was... Were these two guys alone? I doubt it. I really doubt it. Okay, our my friends are going up in there just like, Okay, we'll check it out, boss. We'll check it out. Uh, so let's just check this out myself. I uh, got some stuff that I don't need. Got some booze or whatever that thing is. And I'll open this door. It's locked. It is a, it had a trap, that's what. And it is locked. Okay, no problem. I am not even gonna use my key because I like any experience. And it just took 19 points of damage, so might as well uh, go for it. Um, what the hell is that? It's a table. So, it's gonna be trapped. It is. It is. Man. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm just not good with traps. It's just one of those things, you know. Not good. Not gonna even bother with that. Although, in the original version of the game, I seem to remember traps being quite easier to uh, defuse, even with, um, with low skill points. So, Chrissy? Let me guess, the guys are tired of me kicking them where it hurts, so they sent you here to do something obscene. Well, I can hurt you just as bad, I just need to kick higher, get it? Oh, no, 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 I'd like to know who you are and what is, it is, what is going on in here. Oh, well, in a nutshell, my name is Chrissy and I'm from the squat. I was out exploring last week and I found that entrance out there. I thought it might be an abandoned mine or something, so I decided to check it out. Well, it's not a mine, it's a secret entrance into Vault 15. The vault is being used as a base for a band of raiders called the Cans. The Cans? Didn't I kill them all? Hmm. I killed them all in Fallout 1, but yeah, apparently that's not canon. Uh, yeah. So the Cans are hanging out at Vault 15, so apparently NCR has more problems than the squatters. They caught me snooping around and uh, their leader, Darian, had me locked up in here. The people of the squad are protecting these guys by helping them keep the vault a secret. Oh, but they don't know what's really going there, going on there. Darian told us that the vault was uh, being repaired so we could have a safe place to live with lots of food and water. But it's all a lie. I've been in there and looked around. The vault is dead. The food is and the food and water machines don't work. Our food and water has been coming from the spoils of raids against caravans. Oh, so look. I've been, uh, I, I, I've, I've got to go home and warn everyone about what's really going on in here. We can't help these monsters. Will you take me home? All right, I'll take you home. Really? Awesome. Let's go. Well, teleportation probably. Oh, she runs. She runs like a mad woman. Well, I'd probably run as well if I were in her situation. Although I'm not, because I am Faye. And I kick ass. So, who are you? Are you Chrissy? You are Roberta. Roberta? Please go away, I don't want to be bothered. Okay, Roberta. Um, so this is Chrissy, yeah. 
and this is Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. You saved my daughter. I can never repay you for your kindness. Thank you. Please wait here. I need to talk to Chrissy, and then I would like to talk to you. Okay. So are you gonna... Have a conversation? Nope. My daughter has told me everything. I find it hard to believe that Darren is such a monster after all he's been doing for us. And to think we've been helping him hide his operations as a raider. I can guarantee you we won't stand for it any longer. I've already talked to Zeke and he wants to see you. You should go see him now. Okay, so let's go. I, I was... I was gonna see him... Anyway, but... Uh, okay, have I checked all of this? I have... Let's see, a squatter... Thanks for helping Rebecca. So they're like me already. Well, that figures, because I helped one of them, so it's just common, a common thing, liking people who help you, I guess. Uh, so let's see, you gotta search this. Okay, now nothing in there, and there's a pot, and uh, there's no pot in there. There's nothing in the pot, in the pot, in the pot. Uh, and uh, let's speak with Zeke. Kind of a African name, I guess. I don't really know what Zeke stands for. Is that a real name? In America or... Oh, a trap! Well, you really don't want me to get into your stuff. Actually, let me save. I'm checking out your house and you're like... Nah. Okay, so yeah, this guy has a knife in there. This guy has a... Ooh, I want that. Uh, and over here... He doesn't mind. He doesn't mind. So let me check back out here. Uh, nothing. Rebecca has told me what you did for her. I want to apologize for the treatment you received here. You certainly didn't deserve it. What can I help you with? Well, I've, I've got some questions for you. What do you want to know? Do you work for Darian? Yes, I do. I act as the middleman between him and the people up here. I'm not very happy about the fact now that I know what he's up to. I see. So, what do you intend to do about the raiders? Well, nothing. They have the guns, they control the water and they control the food. That means they are in charge, period. We have no skills and no means of support without the backing of Darian. Now, can we turn against him? We're, we're, we're at his mercy. Well, would you consider making a deal with the MCR? Well, that all depends with... Uh, that all depends. What, what did you have in mind? Join the MCR. Let them annex your territory and give them access to the vault. In return, they can teach you all the skills you need to survive on your own and offer you their protection. That... that isn't a, such a bad deal. Hmm, not bad. I like it. You got yourself a deal if you can get the MCR to agree to it as well. But, um, look. Someone has to take care of Darian and his cronies. It should be done now before they realize what has happened and have time to prepare for an attack. Why not get this over with and take Darian out now? You left the elements of a surprise on your side. Well, I guess it has to be done. Excellent. Good luck to you and thank you. Uh, so, uh, where is the vault entrance? Oh, it's behind that door over there, but it's locked from the other side and trapped too. I don't have any means of opening. Uh, wait a minute. I found this keycard some time ago and I have no idea what it is for. Rebecca says that uh, you found some sort of door where they were holding Chrissy. Maybe this card will open it. Here, take it. Hey, thanks. I'll give it a try. So, is there anything else uh, on? Uh, is, is there anything else going on around here? Just the problems with the NCR, but I think the deal you offered will solve that. Okay, so we got a new quest. We have to kill the cans all over again. We got a red, a red key. A vault. Actually, it's not a red one. It's uh, the Vault 15 key card. Actually, I'm, I'm, I am gonna take this door. You know what? Yeah, I'm not gonna go through there. I ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. What the hell? Come on, come on! Oh boy. Are you seriously gonna block me? Yeah, there is. So I'm gonna open this door. And no, that's not what I wanna do. This is what I wanna do. I You failed to pick the lock. Okay, so if I fail to pick the lock once, I am gonna get my uh, lock picking tool set or tool kit or tool key or I don't know. I don't even know how to call it. I failed to pick the lock. I failed to pick the lock. That does nothing. I also failed to pick the lock. Come on, man, this is tough. This is really tough. I'm not jamming it though. Oh, speaking of which, ah, uh, well, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. We can always wait for midnight. Well, we need to wait a whole day, but still, doesn't really matter because we can enter through the um, main entrance. And I think that, yeah, this, that one, that place over there was probably the original entrance. 
to the um, to the vault, the one that we uh, that the vault dweller got in from in Fallout One. So let's use this thing in there. And man, that noise right there! And did you see the animation of the door? That was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. So let's go in. Let's go in and check the vault out. So we're at ground level. We're gonna go to level one. What the hell? Okay, we got a can raider over here. We got... So how the hell did he get the cards down here? Well, they got them some somehow. But this is the entrance. This is the vault. And uh, it's not the first vault we're seeing because we saw vault 8 over at Vault City. And this girl is... Is she pissed at me? What the? I don't think I know you. Who the hell are you? Well, I got my, my ID right here. Let me show ya. All right, wise ass, take your best shot. Yeah. So let's see what it, she does. Uh, a bit of damage. Yeah, quite a bit of damage, as it turns out. Well, actually, I, I think I'm gonna learn my lesson with that one. Shoot first, ask questions later. And with that, I think I'm gonna end the episode right here because um, it's you a vault. Uh, yeah, they're using psycho. And buff out, I want that. No, come on, don't use your drugs. I want your drugs. <sighs> yeah, we are in the middle of a huge fight. Although Marcus is dealing some damage already, which is awesome. Uh, 101. So let's shoot them in the face with this sniper rifle in the head. And off it goes. Unconscious. Perfect. I'm gonna use my pistol now. Actually, I probably should... Yeah, let's go with that. There he goes. Come on, Lenny. You know you're not gonna eat them from that distance. There's... That is perfect. That is perfect. Seriously, that, that was just fantastic. And, uh... That is that. Yep, I'm gonna end the episode right here. If I can end the combat, because uh, I like saving in between episodes. Please, Marcus is getting on with his thing. So that means I'm gonna probably not gonna need to follow him. Uh, there's probably more. Ra yeah, there's this raider. Marcus is gonna shoot them both. No, he's not. How nice of you, Marcus. Unfortunately, oh, I think I'm gonna hit you now because. Oh, I didn't. Perfect. And uh, Myron managed to miss Marcus, which is good. But Marcus. Oh. No, Marcus. Don't kill me, Marcus. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for not using your. Huge minigun. So let's. There he goes. There. He... Can I now exit combat? Maybe. Maybe not. I can't because there's another guy in here and Marcus is getting in the way as usual. But he likes it. He likes it because he can use his minigun with impunity. So he's now blind. And he's now dead. Can I now exit? I can. Ah. So we dealt with the cans outside Vault 15. Ooh! A power fist. I like that. I think I'm gonna give it to Marcus, because he likes using he likes using melee. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna end the episode right here, right now. I am Colonel RPG and this has been Fallout what not one fallout 2 this has been fallout 2 i really hope you've enjoyed it and if you did feel free to leave a comment like the video but above all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next episode bye bye